you know, if you think about it, the web is nothing but a content delivery system. That's all it is. Um, it's the ability for a consumer of any kind interested in whatever he or she is specifically interested in to sit down by themselves in front of their computer or carry it around in their hand or whatever and to type in or go after or connect with that thing that they are specifically interested in. And they're going to experience content. They're going to experience text, images, video, audio. It's, it's, it's just content. It's going to be arranged in a certain way and displayed to them in a certain manner. And they're going to be navigating through other content. So if you think about it, that's all the web is. So when you create content that is of value to your consumer, they will interact with that content. They'll read that content, they'll associate that content with you, they'll become more educated about what you do and about your industry in particular. Um, you know, anytime there is a um, promotion that's going on, um, like a tax credit of some kind or something, if you want your consumers to know about it, right, they might have heard about it on the news, they might have seen it, if they hear about it from you, they're as likely, more likely to contact you about it, to find out more about it, engage with you about it, than they are to hear about it from you and then shut that down and then leave and go do a search of potential competitors and look for somebody who might know something about that thing. I mean, they're looking for the credit. They find an article on it. The source of that article is you who provide the services and the consulting they need. They call you. You know, it's pretty simple. Now, in terms of web presence, if there's no content, there's nothing to be present on the web, you know, that's all it is. So what else could sh potentially show up as a search result? You know, what could show up on a profile if there's no content? And if it's just your address and phone number, you're going to be buried under a pile of other competitors, you know. So you, you have to provide content. Now, where people go wrong is they generate a whole bunch of keyword stuffed content that is of no value to anybody. They're thinking, well, it doesn't matter because it's going to get us up in search engines. That's what our SEO guy told us, right? Well. It's not a good idea. It reflects poorly on your company. Nobody wants to read it. And Google is, the Google bot is incredibly intelligent. <laughs> and it is understanding when there's quality content and when it's keyword stuff content. So, you know, the way you treat your content is this. You write quality content that really would be of value to your consumer. And then you distribute it. You look for distribution models. Your website, you know, you want to be in a content management system of some kind. Um, open source preferably. Um, you want to be able to publish to some type of content reel or blog where it can be RSS or syndicated out. You want to plug that into a Twitter account, a Facebook page. You want to have it on your Merchant Circle profile and your Manta and you want to release press releases to PR Web and all this. That way when someone who is a potential consumer of yours types in anything to do with your industry or what they're interested in and they're seeking that information, they're going to find you and your opinions, your thoughts, your educational ideas, it will position you in the marketplace as being an expert, being present. Um, it's kind of like when you become that guy, when everybody says, oh, you have a question about that? You need to ask that guy, right? Your company becomes, quote, that guy as the dominant provider of, of relevant and educational information about that industry. And I've seen a lot of businesses say, that's not what we do. All of our stuff is based on relationships, sales relationships, and networking. And that's true. That will never change. Your sales come from individuals dealing with individuals. But what you got to understand is the web is not some abstract, isolated space, cold space place. It's individual people reading interesting stuff and communicating with other individual people about it. That's the place where you're putting out content, not putting it up on a billboard out on some road out in the middle of nowhere.